Hello everyone, welcome back to the Zulk Run Sports YouTube channel. Today, I'm out fishing a local mark. As I recently mentioned, I've moved house, so this mark is now local. You may recognize it from a video I did back in December. Um, it's always been one of my favorite marks, this one. I've got a, a big-ish tide. Um, it's not the biggest in the sequence. But um, yeah, we've got a strong southerly wind that uh, kicked the sea up a little bit since this morning. Um, I might be a little bit early in terms of uh, getting out and seeing if there's any coddling around, seeing as it's only been out, been, been going a couple of hours. Um, they may not have quite pushed in yet. There's a little bit of colour in the water there. Um, normally I like it bigger the better on this mark. But uh, like I said, I'm just out for an easy session today. So uh, I will give it a go. Eh? So bait wise, I've got cart in a flask, which has obviously been sat in the freezer for a little while. Um, I've got eater peeler. I've got pit, normal peeler, crab, mussel, bit of black lug. Yeah, um, give it a go. It's a bit bright, but um, all we can do is try. Um, some of the recent comments on my videos have been complaining about the uh, the wind noise making it completely unworkable or unwatchable, I should say. Um, I apologise for that. Um, I've got myself a Bluetooth mic now. Hopefully this helps. If not, then um, I'm not sure what else I can do about it. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll try and keep keep the wind noise to a minimum. But um, I didn't want to have to get a Bluetooth mic. But um, yeah, it's just another thing to go wrong in the videos and potentially lose a video because of it. But um, yeah, we'll give it a go. And hopefully this is the first session with a Bluetooth mic hopefully the sounds okay right then so as I just mentioned Got a flask of cart wings, peeler, etc. All frozen stuff, no fresh. But uh, we will make do. Anyway, cart wing there. I'm more certain it's one of Joe Morrison's old ones. I've managed to find a few in the freezer. Um, but I should hopefully be getting some... Uh, some nice fresh wings off them in the coming weeks maybe days hopefully um depending on how that weather is it's quite a big cart wing that one so i'm just going to cut it up into four not going to use big baits there's no need to kick the ass out of it on here in my opinion when i get bored i chuck out a big bait every now and again or if i'm getting plagued by the tiny ones then i'll uh then i'll put on a big bait and see how it goes but for now choose a smallish bait if i find my bait elastic the wind is blowing today it's um it was at peak at about 35 mile per hour this morning um so the mics came just in time and like i said hopefully the order yours okay and hopefully I'll fix that wind noise issue. With the northeast coast I didn't want to be chucking a Bluetooth mic around the rocks. Of course I'm not chucking it, but if I take a slip, a trip or a fall, you know, it's potentially my camera smashed and then a, a Bluetooth mic that's plugged in the side and also the Bluetooth mic that's on my collar here. Um which but it, it's a gamble, it's always a gamble. Hopefully I don't fall over on any rocks. Um, yeah, but 
I do listen to your feedback. I try and reply. Well, I do reply to every single comment as well. Um, and I did notice there was a a lot of comments about the wind, which I do apologise for. Hopefully, this makes it better. Please leave a comment as well, feedback about the mic, is it good, is it bad, um, yeah I am, I am trying, even when I didn't have a mic I was always trying to point my phone away from the wind and give it a little bit of cover, but uh, sometimes on this course line it's just not possible, like, uh, <laughs> and the conditions we need to go out in are windy conditions when the seas pick up, so yeah. Anyway, there's my first bait and done. Bit of cast, bit of muscle. Happy days. Right then, first cast. About to go out, the one that you've just seen baited up. Cart wing, a little bit of muscle. Down sled. I'll show you the rig in a minute. I'll just get this one blasted out and then I'll show you its twin. But, uh, nah, I'll give it a go. Yep, that wind's moving it to the left. Strong southwesterly blown there now. As I said, it was southerly earlier. Got a, probably a six, seven foot swell rolling in, to be honest. But, uh, it's looking rather nice. Right then, so the identical rig is right here. So then, as always, seven ounce gripper from Chris Ritchie. Beautiful leads. 30 pound rotten bottom weak link onto the rotten bottom clip itself. 100 pound mono, bead, power swivel bead, power swivel, 70 pound hook length, onto the business end where I have got Sea Glow Chinu, I think that's a four or five or, and a Sea Glow Short Shank, Kenta Short Shank Kentaro with me little paper clip to hold the crab baits on and stop it blasting up the line. Right then, get the next one baited up. And there we have it. Nice muscle and peeler crab bait, dripping all over. Lovely. Right then, I have just had a bite. First cast. I may have missed it fannying about with the air. Uh, oh, it's there. There we go, fish on first cast. Very nice. I like this mic, I can sort of give a little bit of commentary while I'm playing this fish. So all I'm trying to do here is just tension me and the fish. I was just caught on a senior in a little bit of try and turn the hook out this morning. Bit of weed on my shock leading up there that I can see. Alright, uh, it's not this fish like. Don't know how much of it you can see on the camera. There. I can just see the fish there. About to bring him up the side of the cliff now. Up he comes, nicely lid does it and fling him round. Nice one. Uh, it's probably about two pounds, two and a half pounds. 
That bait is right down his throat, as I will show you in a minute when I get my next one casted out. So whenever I've caught a fish, if I've got my next one on the stand, if the fish isn't going back to fight another deer, which these ones aren't, um, as long as they're sizable, of course, I pick my rig up, clip it in. Oh, as I pull over the rod stand. Clip the rig on like that. Out that one goes, flying off to the left up there. That's fine. He's a lovely little bronzy, orangey colour. I hope this wasn't in the way. There's a massive tree there. Uh, lovely little codlin to start the day. First cast. Hopefully there's a few more of them. Cheers. I hope you can see that, but that bait is right down its neck. Hopefully you can see that, but uh, <laughs> it's in its stomach pre pretty much. Well, next cast ready. A small little quarter of a cart wing and a tiny little bit of eight peeler on the, on the back. With this wind as well, I'm going to try and keep the baits a little bit smaller because that wind isn't half uh, blowing me baits from right to left. Um, yeah, not that it's an issue because I've got a fish first cast, but I cast this one a little bit out to the left anyway and it's just carried it even further. Like, So, um, yeah. A little bit later on when it fills up as well, I'll have a cast down into this beer here. I've seen a couple of bass come out of there, early doors of the season. Come on the cod, fingers crossed. Well, there's another bite. Second cast. Slack line a bit. Come on. So the deer with us being on the cliffs. There's another fish. Um, today with us being on the cliff, I'm using the Zulgron XT435 with the carbon tip. Uh, might miss this fish. Unless he's coming in with us. Um, yeah, with the carbon tip. Yeah, I've missed this. So the only thing in the side wind sometimes you miss bites, which is a. Uh, Bit of a shame like but I'd rather be fishing straight into a headwind to be honest than a sidewind. Wasn't a bad bite that either. On the cliffs as well I like to keep my shock leader long. I've got loads of wraps of shock leader on my reel there. Just so if I do get the bigger fish I can get the shock leader on early. And try and Either handball them up or reel them up. If he's anything over six, seven pound, you're probably going to struggle to reel them up. Um, but yeah, if it's anything under that, you can reel them up nicely. But that's why I like a long shock leader anyway, just to get a hand on the shock leader and try to up the cliff if need be.
over this third cast um hasn't done anything yet so i've got my can of imp to out do some asmr shit with this new mic on oh i wonder how good that sounded <laughs> probably just water damaged my mic Dynamite, that stuff. Just like card for the cod. Dynamite. Next cast after that lost fish. Half a cart wing. Black lug. And the last of that eater peeler. That was underneath anyway. I just left it on there. On the cord, it looks like it's going to be an all right day. Two casts, one fish, two bites. Get this one in and get the bait changed. Okay, now. Snags that one. It's came out nicely though. Like I say on here, it's patches of sand, patches of hard rock and patches of kelp. So you never know what you're going to land in. You've got a rough idea of where they all are, but you can never guarantee that's where your left's going to end up. Okay. Next bait and going out, I've got cart, mussel and eat a peeler. I'm going to try and uh, get a fish. It's windy now. I didn't even get this lead myself. Blimey, that wind is high, isn't half getting up like. What a nightmare. So that last cast now clip, I realized my mic had disappeared. So I've spent the best part of 30, 45 minutes looking for this mic. I'll insert a clip of how I've done it. Nightmare, man. So I've been on my hands and knees in the grass, shouting hello in different directions, 
see which the mic would pick up the loudest to obviously follow it. And then when I homed in on the general location, I was rubbing the grass to see if it would rub the mic and make that sort of noise, which it did. And I found it. So obviously somewhere in between taking me waders off to have a wee and casting um, I've knocked the mic off so I've made this little loop out of mono which will hopefully hold it in place nightmare man next baiting Nice big cart wing and cart stick on the back. It's dripping all over, so I'm going to get it in the water before it melts all over. Nice. It's getting a couple little rattles there now. See if you can pick it up on the camera something really small like unless it's a big fish just being inquisitive but we will see There's a little rattle, probably not even picking that up on camera. It's the smallest little vibration. That wind's dropped lovely now as well, so you can sort of see the bites a bit better. Not that I want to be seeing a little bite that big anyway. Or a little bite that small, I should say. Go on, where's the piglets at? This next bit is cart wing, peeler crab and mussel. I've left the legs on the peeler crab as well because one of them was a softy. So, beautiful. Quick change of scenery. I am now in the car. I'm going home for me tea. Just the one fish about two pound. Dropped two off one, I think it was a coolie. The other one second chuck was most definitely a cod. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. Um, thank you all for watching again. I hope you're enjoying the content at the moment. I'm gonna try and keep it pumping out and keep a steady flow throughout this winter. Yeah, it might get a bit samey, but what happens when you're cod fishing and trying to get the big ones and the big bags so aye hopefully there's a few decent sessions mixed among the winter um among the videos and, and we'll try our best to bring you some decent content i suppose but aye catch us in the next one